Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wonky, and I'm back with another Master on uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! video. That's right, and I'm here to play Master Duel. <laughs> I'm gonna keep playing. I realized that the last video I didn't do any playing, and that's because I was building a deck, and now that I've made a deck, I've been playing a little bit, and the deck seems to work okay, and so I'm gonna keep playing. So I hope you uh, like the video. Uh, Master Duel, it's really good. I've been playing it a lot. I decided to start with Dark Magician, and I have a second, if I ever decide to do more rank ups, a second deck in the waitings that is more geared toward top play. But for now, this is what I'm doing here. You can see it's called Dark Magical Dudes, as always. It's a Dark Magician. Here's Dark Magician. Uh, not the greatest deck in the world. <laughs> Because one, I don't have that many uh, extra deck dudes. There's some I was missing. I actually originally wanted three Dark Magicians, but I couldn't. Um, I got Tamias because I used Tamias cards. And some of my Synchros, I include the Synchro just in case for some weird reason I want to flex with Ash Blossom and not keep it in my hand. Don't worry, I know. It never is going to get the see the play, but if it ever does, I think it'd be funny. So there you go. And these very rarely get played. Actually, Ebon the Illusion Magician gets played, but this guy never comes out, and neither does he, so... It's all focused around the Dark Magician, and it's also extremely easy to counter from what I hear, but... So it's actually going to depend on who I fight. If it's someone like me who's playing a deck that is more for the fun, I've lost. Alright, so let's see. What kind of deck will this person have? I'm going to go first. I'm going to assume that they have the top... Let me see, what the hell is the name of that magician guy? It's either the Sky Striker or something else. <sighs> hmm. What could it be? What could it be? Giggity key. Okay, let's see. May as well do this. You got Ash Blossom? Okay, confirm, and. Yep. Mine now. This is a terrible hand, I think. Let me see. Yeah, one seven or lower, okay. I'm gonna try my best on this one. Not 100% sure, I, I, I think I lose. But I'll end for now. Let's see what he's got. It's unfortunate, it's very rare for the deck to brick this bad. It's not like a full-on brick. I should have also put this face down, but I have a feeling he's going to wipe my entire field. Yeah. Uh, nah, that's fine. Let's see, what do you got? Lady Diva. It's actually... Hmm, I haven't seen this one. So maybe this person isn't running a full. And they've just opened the perfect thing against me. Lady Debug. Cyberverse... It's gonna have Link summoning. Let's see. Hello. Hmm. So yeah. Yeah, okay. This guy is, basically has it done. So let me just talk real quick over it. Um, I've been enjoying Master Duel. It really is currently at the moment kind of dependent on who I end up facing. Which is unfortunate because I really wish that there was a better way for me to determine the dudes who are at around my level because I feel bad playing against people who are um, worse than me, but I feel worse playing against people who are better than me. So it's one of those things where it's like, early going on, it's going to be tough to kind of balance it out, but I think eventually they'll settle it out where the top Yu-Gi-Oh dudes are at the top, and the medium dudes like me will be will find a happy medium, and then everyone else will kind of be at the bottom, and they'll be able to enjoy their decks a little bit better. Yeah, I think that's how it's eventually going to go. Um... I also think they should really cut down on the, the time limit. I think people have too much time. Actually, this guy's been doing pretty good about it. He knows exactly what he needs to beat me, and he's got it. And he's gonna summon all the dudes right now. Um, come on, you, you can keep going, bro. I know you can keep going. I, right after I said how much I'm pretty sure you have, you know everything in your deck, you'd start to not have confidence. You gotta have confidence, man. You have this one. You just need to actually play the cards and win now. There you go. You're almost there. Another one. Come on. Show me. Come on. You're almost there, dude. Come on. Where is it? No, okay. He has to wait for his effects to activate. <laughs> um. Okay, there you go. Here's another one. What the hell was I saying beforehand? So yeah, it's kind of dependent. So, I also wonder what they're going to do with the extra modes. I think I'm more curious about that than anything else, because I feel like a lot of people are kind of going like, 
because uh, I am someone who can actually play modern Yu-Gi-Oh! This actually doesn't bother me too much because, you know, it's just the way the game is sometimes. Um, but I know a lot of the OG people who really don't like this style of play. And I get it. But I also think it's not that bad. Yeah, there you go. That's the guy I was waiting for. He's going to have like 3 million attack pretty soon. See, there needs to be like a faster way where it's like, this guy should know automatically that he's going to be getting this guy right now. At this point, I'm just waiting for him to finish his turn. I think he's earned it at this point. There it is. Why are you doing this? Okay, now I'm just going to... Nah, I'm kidding. I'm not going to surrender. Go ahead, keep doing your turn. Uh, why are you choosing so long to choose which six, dude? You already know what six to return. <laughs> Alright, now attack. There we go. It's over. Yes. There you go. It was just enough. You didn't even need to do that, really. You had Batrio, but I knew that this was game over the second I saw that it was a Japanese player. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. CCG player, Lynx player. He's into a relaxed play, which I actually don't believe that. I think he's actually lying. I got some great points from that. Aw, rest your rabbit. Don't feel too bad. He was a Japanese player. There's no reason to feel. How is his deck looking like? This is actually also nice, too. I'm sure Duel Links has this. Yeah, this is different from what I fought beforehand. So at least it's a different flavor of how I lost compared to some of the other ones. Yeah, I had a very bad hand. There was just no way for me to win <laughs> that turn one. <laughs> Let's go again. Mm, hopefully this one's a little bit better for me. Sangen. Respect. Ah, oh, Japanese. Again. I think I just lose. It's unfortunate that I have to play at night, so... I'm going first so I can at least go first, and then... Ah, oh, that's the best part of Sangen. This is the part where he just kind of <laughs> voids out of there at the end. Uh, what you got here, buddy? How... Okay, no. I was about to say, how am I getting so unlucky, but this is an okay hand. I say when I know for a fact he's about to use Ash Blossom to stop this. Actually, no, he doesn't. He can't use this to stop to stop me, I was about to say. Because I don't think it searches from the deck. It doesn't search from the deck. It puts to the top of the deck. I actually don't know what the ruling is on that. Yeah, I'm just placing a card to the top of my deck. So you have something you can do, but now he's wondering if he can... Yeah, actually, he should have something to do. I don't know. I don't know. What you got, buddy? Come on. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, okay, yes, not. Maybe it's just the lag. Could be that. There you go. Activate. Are you gonna stop this one? Buddy. Pal. Again, I can't tell if it's him or if it's the confirm. Yes. Give me my uh, dark Komaji Shaman. Uh, both of them. And let's hope he doesn't have a Feather Duster, huh? Hmm. What you got, dude? We both have the fancy sleeves. What'd you get from playing? you gonna do brother I actually think it's kind of weird that they don't ask you it's actually kind of nice that they don't constantly ask you but it's also weird that they don't ask you if you want to activate certain cards during the standby phase wonder why that is mm, play another card play another card all right I'm gonna activate this Let's see what he does you can do something I just don't know what they wouldn't be constantly asking you, would you want to do something, unless you had something. <laughs> that's uh, that's my current... There it is. So he's going to draw two cards. That's fine. It's the end of his turn anyway. Um, I'm only summoning like two cards, so you can draw two cards. It's fine. And it's your end phase, I'm pretty sure. I know Maxi is apparently very aggravating to a lot of people. 
Um, I understand that. That's about it. I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> yeah, here you go. Activate it. Bye. No. My turn. So, Maxi shouldn't activate anymore, right? So I guess I'm free to do whatever the hell I want. Hmm. So, I really want to attack for 5,000, but I feel like I should just summon the Ebon Magician. And get 5,000 as well. Okay. I'm gonna do it. What's the worst he's gonna do? Stop me? Yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. That is exactly what he's gonna do. Because he has Ash Blossom in his hand or something. Oh, what is that? Dogmatica, what's his nuts are? Okay. In defense. Sure. I don't know why you did that. Because I'm going... Actually, no, you, you can probably stop this, right? If not, then I don't know why you summoned them. To be honest. Because I can just do this. Nope. I don't like that they ask me constantly, though. I'll just attack you. I probably could activate another Magician Circle, but I would rather just save it. You never know. And that's it for me, I think. I've never actually been able to use this card once effectively. <laughs> it's in the deck <laughs> because I liked it. I like the art of it, but it's not the greatest because I don't think I actually have a way to... Actually, did I remember to put in Solemn Judgment? I should check that next because I'm pretty sure I wanted to put Solemn Judgment in here, but I don't remember if I did. Hello, Sangin. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Well, what do you got? I should activate that now, actually. Oh, I can just activate this. Stays on the field, though, so that's good for you. Yeah, okay, that was smart for me to activate that now, and not for later. So when he does summon, I can use it, I'm pretty sure. Look, the music is going pretty bumping. I still think that he has a chance to beat me here. It's never over until some lady sings, who is usually fed. No, my Jack Magician! Why would he do that? Oh, to summon his. That makes a lot of sense. I don't even know what he did there. It's probably this ritual spell. Yeah, I can't tribute something that's already been sacrificed for something. Dash is not how that works out. There goes my Dark Magicians, though. Alright, let's see what I can draw here. Because it's not over. Though it does feel like it is. Come on, Dark Magician. 
Ah, oh, that works. Kind of. Uh, actually, I think I can draw a card for each. I have three Dark Magicians in the river. Do I actually want Dark Magician, though? Let me see. I'm sure there's a card I would prefer over it, which is usually the Stone Tablets. Let me see if I can find it. There is the Stone Tablet. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go for this. I mean, I may as well. It's only one. But I would rather draw one card than just draw nothing. Oh, that's great, actually. Alright. I'm going to end the phase and see what happens. Why can't I activate this? Okay, I was about to say, I can activate this. Is he choosing to just kill himself here? Or what is he doing? What the dog doing? Hmm, okay. Okay. That's basically over. I don't think you have a follow-up to this, my dude, so I'm just going to end it. And if so, GG, I think. Boom! Pretty nice. Well, pretty nice. That one was real close. He could have easily beat me. What, what you got here? Two followers, two following casual beginner? You, you did pretty good for a beginner, then. You almost beat me. You're fantastic, I'd say. Alright, let's go. Rank up. Nice! So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, is I'm just kind of having fun with my Dark Magicians. Kind of seeing a lay of the land to see what other things people are- This needs to get better, by the way. <laughs> Spirit of the Breeze for that pretty tough duel that I had. Tough for me, that is. So let me see Manchester. Let me see what he had. Hmm, so he did have Heartbeat. Did he have Ash Blossom? That's my question. He had- he definitely had Max C. Yeah, he had one- oh wow, only one Ash Blossom though. Interesting. Maybe it was because he didn't feel like... Sangin. Why Sangin? Uh, I guess it worked. I know Sangin used to be really good, but I actually don't know if he's good anymore. Hmm. Interesting deck. Dogmaticas, or whatever they're called. Let me see your extra deck that you had. Chaos Emperor, Rugal, the Silver Shelter, Spring and Tri Brigade. Hmm. It was definitely someone I feel like it was more around my level, so... I think it, it was more easy back and forth. See, that's the kind of duels I like. I don't... Uh, let me see. I would prefer more of... These, this one was due to a bad hand, I think. I think I could have probably had, let me see, just to be sure. Yeah, I think it could have actually been fair between us. I think I just had a very bad hand, now that I look at your hand. This guy, though, this guy, <laughs> this guy had my number, <laughs> and he was my first dude I fought. Let me, just to be double check on here, to see Solemn Judgment is in fact in the deck. It is, okay. So let me see, once per turn when a card effect is activated except for during a damage step, you contribute one Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl, special summon one Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl from your hand or graveyard with a different name from the tributed monster. And if you do negate the activated effect, 
Good thing I never activated that. Uh, okay. So yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. I'm going to keep on playing. I hope you liked that. It was like 20 minutes. Um, hope you had fun. I hope you liked it. And if you did, feel free to like. Comment, tell me how you feeling about Master Duel so far. Um, hopefully you're able to make the one deck you want, and then... I think the best thing to do is to build the deck you want, and then if you're someone who wants to keep playing the game, then you should probably build one of the top decks. And if you're someone who just wants to have fun for a bit, I think you should build a fun archetype that you want to try. Uh, try jumping into ranked after some people have already kind of gone past ranked who are super sweaty, and then... Um, kind of just enjoy the game, and or try to find friends who can also play Yu-Gi-Oh with. Like I've seen plenty of people do that. It's not that big a deal though. Like wins or losses, you kind of go in there. You just gotta have to have a mind of not getting angry. <laughs> it's okay. It's just Yu-Gi-Oh. And eventually, hopefully, we'll see what Event Duels does. Also, I want them to improve the duel room. Now that I've actually used it, and I, I notice that there's actually no um, private room, <laughs> they really need to fix that. They really need to fix that, because this is really bad. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Peace out, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!